The last time Mallard was in the 1980s, 75 years ago, this engine raced into the record books. It was on Mallard, one of the LNER Streamline Pacifics, that driver Duddington set up a speed record that has never been beaten. It reached 126 miles per hour with driver Joseph Duddington on the footplate. The record run wasn't caught on film, but afterwards he recounted the experience for radio. Go on, old girl, I thought we can do better than this. The needle crept up further. 123 and a half, 124, 125. And then for a quarter of me, the folks in the car held their breaths. 126 miles per hour. Three quarters of a century on, and Mallard is gleaming. Today she will be joined by men who used to work on her footplate. It was every shit to be an Indian driver. When you first start, it's hard work and dirty work. Progress up the ladder. You look forward to it. You look forward to being part of this. Walter Blazy's top speed at the controls of one of these was 117 miles per hour. Everything was shaking, everything was rolling, <laughs> and uh, you had a job to stand up to put coal in the fire, but 117, so what it was like for 126, I don't know. <laughs> and today, for the first time ever, all the surviving A4 steam engines included all together in York. Half of them still work, so when we were offered a trip on one, well, it would have been rude. First thing in the morning, it takes several hours to get this steam engine ready to roll, but the sights and sounds are fantastic. Little wonder, then, that people travel from all over the world for a trip on this train. Here on the North York Moors, it's a privilege to operate one of these. Oh, there were the thoroughbreds. They were, uh, apart from Scotsman, it was Sir Nigel Gresley's finest design. Meant to run really from uh, King's Cross to Edinburgh non stop, all the crack expresses. And they proved their worth over and over again. And what about the fireman who does all the hard work? The job of the fireman in BR days on one of these would have been back breaking from London to Edinburgh, he'd just about empty the tender, which is nine tons of coal, into the firebox. And at a maximum speed of about 90 mile an hour, they'd be going for about six or seven hours and it'd be almost constant backbreaking digging for him. These streamlined engines, whose design was inspired by Bugatti, are now national. And one of many reasons that made the age of steam great.